Okay, if you want to open a PDF in the Banana Designer Plus software, then you need to be in Art Canvas. There are lots of reasons you'd want to use a PDF. You might have a pattern that you want to create an embroidery to fit. Um, so you might want to use it as a backdrop. You might have a pattern piece that you want to cut out, as I showed in um, the previous video about um, cutting out doll patterns in a previous video, or cutting out doll patterns. Um, so you might want to create a cut line to cut the pieces out around the shape of the pattern. You might want to use a PDF that's got graphics in it rather than pattern pieces to use as a backdrop or for digitizing. So it's a really good um, thing to know how to do this. And it's pretty straightforward in some respects. It's just you just import it as you would a normal graphic. So you just come up to your little import daisy up the top here and left click and you will get a dialogue where you can navigate to where your PDF is. So the one I want is in patterns. So um, patterns and it is in bags. This is the first example I'm going to show you. And it's going to be this swoon dolly bag. Now I'm just going to single click on this and I have my navigation panel open. If yours isn't open, just click on this icon here and this navigation, uh, sorry, preview panel will open and you can actually see the whole the PDF in miniature here. This is good because you may not want all the pages. This PDF um, pattern has 15 pages total and I don't, I don't want all the pages. I don't want this cover page. I don't want all the instructions. So I'm just scrolling down with my mouse to find where the patterns are. And the first pattern page is, keep going, keep going, keep going, here on page 12. And it, the rest of the PDF is all the pattern pieces. So I might want one pattern piece from one page and one from another. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But I'll to get all those pattern pieces, I'll need those last four pages, pages 12 to 15. So I'm just going to remember that and import. And you will get a little dialogue come up. It's asking you if you want to import the text as text or curves. Not all fonts on PDFs will convert nicely to text. So unless you particularly want to use the text editing features and want to try to see if your that font will work, um, I would just leave it on curves. You will get the text showing up, but it will be curve objects, not text objects. The page selection is next, so um, I only want pages 12 to 15, so I'm going to um, have the select pages option checked, and I'm going to change it to read 12 to 15, and go OK. Now, as soon as you see that little symbol, hit enter on your keyboard, and the pattern will come in at the original size, which is what you want. Now, before I go on, this pattern is for a lovely little bag and it is free, so you can download that. I will put a link in the description to the website. I'll just open their website now and show you. So when you go to their website, um, it's got lots of lovely bag patterns um, that you can purchase and they're reasonably priced. And as you can see, they come in a lovely PDF format, so you can print them out with all instructions needed. So the bag that we're going to use today is the free one. So that is the Dolly Mini Crossbody Bag. And you'll find that just by scrolling down there in alphabetical order. So just go down to the Ds, and when you find the Dolly Bag, you can left click on that. As you can see, the PDF has one example here, and this is another example of how you can change it up by using different fabrics and different um, looks to the bag. And so it's a good one to choose 
if you you can instead of putting a, a patterned fabric in this area here you could actually embroider a, f a panel of fabric to go in here um, you could also embroider around this part here I've actually done one where I embroidered this inside panel and I embroidered this piece here to match going over the top and the rest of the bag was plain I did it in a denim um, so there are all sorts of things you can do with this bag and it's a nice handy small crossbody bag so um, I'll just close out of that now or I'll minimize it out of the way as I said once you've imported it it'll come in at direct size now you can see I haven't got all four pages showing on my screen it comes in as separate pages if you look in your objects docker on the right hand side now if you haven't got your objects docker showing it may be down here in your dockers so you could just click on it or if you haven't got it showing down here there's a plus sign down the bottom here which you can click on which will give you all the dockers available and you just put a check mark next to objects and it will show up if you can't find that little plus sign at the bottom you can also go to window dockers and put a check sign next to the objects docker okay so in the objects docker you can see we've got page one which was actually page 12 but because we got rid of the other pages it's become page one um, and then paid if we go scroll down we've got page two page three and page four um, and then the master page for the for the background so and within that we've got one layer for each page but this means you can add extra layers in the pages and do all the other functions that you can do with a uh, multi-page document um, and then you can make it multi-layered however we don't want to do that so each layer you can see has if I open up page two it'll go to page two and if I expand layer one in page two it will show me that I've got a group of 34 objects so each page the objects are all grouped together by default you might not want all the pattern pieces you might only want one pattern piece so you can select that and move it to a separate layer and delete all the rest it's in um, you can select ob objects in here and delete them as needed as well so if, say you wanted to put a um, an embroidery design around that bottom panel of the bag so if I just bring that back up again if you wanted to put a string of flowers around here or something like that it's nice to know how it's going to fit in the design and to get the right curve and all the rest of it so that's just one example so I'll just minimize that again and so I might only need this pattern piece here um, now this particular pattern has got patterns for both woven and also um, if you're doing it in vinyl the woven one will have a seam allowance on it the vinyl one won't so uh, because you don't seam it you just top stitch it on so just be aware of that um, if you're creating an embroidery design on a woven piece to allow for the seam allowance so leave some space around the edges okay the beauty of this particular um, pattern is that it is a vector pattern not all PDFs will have vector um, images on their pages but if you do have a vector you can use the vector just like you would any other vector graphic and you can convert it to embroidery and all sorts of things so say for instance let me go to the next page see if I can find the vinyl um, one that doesn't have a seam allowance um, or it could be the it could be the woven one and I could just fill this with embroidery so I could select this and it's grouped so I need to ungroup it so you can right click and ungroup all or you can click un, uh, yeah I'll just ungroup that's enough to get the separate objects and then you can delete what you don't need so um, I could delete the word dolly for instance by left clicking on it and hit delete 
and there's some more writing in there. So I'll go zoom in, I'll click on that and delete it and that and delete it and there's some there that and oops have I got the whole pattern piece yes I have just be careful of that you have got an undo button if you accidentally get the wrong bit so just and delete the wrong bit just undo so it comes back okay so I've got that one pattern piece and I could select that I could delete all of this and just leave this but I can also the other option is to select this one pattern piece and it appears to be made up of two pieces so um, I'm going to select that half hold down my sh shift key and select the other half now I've got the whole pattern piece so I might group that back together just be aware um, working with vectors in art canvas is a whole lesson on its own so I'm not going to go into major detail about it but this is more about the PDFs um, so I could select that and then over in my objects docker I can create a new layer so I've got a new layer now and it should be up the top layer two here we are it's gone on page two layer two I found it <laughs> um, so now I can go to that layer uh, first of all while I've got this selected I can copy that so control C will copy it to the clipboard and then you can go to layer two and control V so I've got another one it's directly on top of this one but it's on its own separate layer on layer two now I can um, just select layer one and delete the whole of layer one and I'm left with just this pattern piece so that I'm not confused about pattern pieces I don't need another thing you can do is if I go back to layer one and so if I click on um, page one I'll go back to page one if I just want this outline here you can see it's only half the pattern so I might want to make two sides you know the, the full pattern so that I can design an embroidery around it so for that I will need the outline and I would probably want to keep this dotted line um, I would know that it was going to go on the fold so I wouldn't need that I might want to keep that um, press stud mark so that I can see not to put embroidery there for instance um, I probably don't need the grain line so there's a lot I can get rid of on this one again I need to ungroup it so select it ungroup the whole thing there's 53 objects there so we'll ungroup all and then click off and select the things you don't want delete again you might have to zoom in delete I'm going to keep that dotted line I don't need the grain line and because I know down the center is the grain I don't need that arrow on the end of the grain line that was a separate object I probably don't need that 3.5 inches um, And so again just go down I can't box select because these are on top of that other object unless I found that ob object that made up this and locked it um, but I'd have to find it in all these objects and it may be made up of separate pieces so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to select everything I want to delete one by one it's a bit tedious but you can get quick if you hold your finger over the delete oops I deleted the wrong thing so undo so I mean it's easy to select the wrong thing just keep deleting till you've got it all and these little arrows as I said hold your finger over the delete key um, and left click with your mouse on what you want and then hit the delete key right so they're the pieces I'd want to keep so now I can box select those and group those and if I move it over here I can now go control D on my keyboard and that will duplicate the design 
and it will sit on top so you can I can actually see it here in my objects here so I've got a group of four objects and another group of four objects by default if you've got your select button on the top one should be selected um, but just click on it again the top one to make sure you've got your handles around there and then if you hold down your control key and hover over this left um, handle left click and drag it will flip over now don't go too far because if you keep going out here you can see you can distort the pattern we don't want that we want to stop when it's just gone over and then let go your um, left mouse key and your control key one after the other and you've got a whole piece which you can then use and as I said you could delete all of this I can actually box select all of that now and delete it and I can now select this and move it back onto the page and I can work with that in the software okay there are just a couple of things you can do with vector graphics and so if your PDF is a vector it's much easier to work with you can do all sorts of things now the problem comes is if you save the design and you haven't got rid of everything you want and you've got things on separate pages what will happen is this doesn't happen in if you're in Corel Draw standalone but in the Benina embroidery software when you're in Art Canvas when you save a design it saves as an art file which is an embroidery file so if I go file save as and I call this um, PDF and I've already done one so but so it'll come up and say that but um, I'll do it again so we've got file name PDF and I'm just going to save it onto the desktop and save it um, it says a, a PDF already exists yes yeah, so you won't get that because do you want to replace it yes okay so I've saved that now if I now go to embroidery canvas and show my PDFs it only shows the page you've selected all right so you could go ahead and work with that but if I have to close this design and reopen it so let's close the design by clicking on the little X next to the tab at the top here and go off and do something um, save changes will go yes that's closed and now I'll come back tomorrow or whatever and I want to open it again so I can actually go open recent and click on that file again it should open with a bit of luck there we go show my um, vector images and it comes up if I go back to art canvas this is what I get because I didn't delete all those other pages and they're all on top of each other and it's very hard to select what you want ungroup and select what you want everything's in one layer that's what happens when you save a design with a multi-page or multi-layer document in art canvas so just be sure that you get rid of everything you don't want and move everything to the same layer that you want it doesn't have to all be on the page but if you move everything to the same layer and spread out what you want the pieces you want to keep um, you won't have this problem of everything sitting on top of each other so that's a really important thing to know now I'm going to go back to embroidery so, um, canvas and close that one as well and I'm not going to change save any changes and I'm going to go get a new document new design and go back to art canvas and this time I'm going to open a PDF that's actually a hand-drawn so it'll be a JPEG not a vector now JPEGs don't work like vectors in that you they're not so easy to select and so forth so that's why I'm showing you this one so let's go to documents patterns and dolls I think I've got one called dolls yes 
dolls. So this is the Wendy doll, which you can also get for free. And I'll put a link to this also in the description. So if I left click on this PDF, um, it's the actual PDF has got all the links on it as well. Um, this won't be an affiliate link. You can just download this doll pattern whenever you like. So um, again, I'm going to go through the pages and find the pattern pieces because I don't want to open all these pages. So I'm going down. So here's my first pattern piece on page four and page five and page six. So they're the pages I want. So I'll go import leave the text as curves and I want pages four to six okay and enter straight away and it'll sit there now in this case um, in the previous video which I'll put a link to the video on how to do a cut line around these shapes because that's really handy if you've got really fiddly shapes if you don't want to have to be cutting it out by hand um, you know, if you're cutting out two arms, two legs, um, you could even sew your two arm pieces together in the embroidery software and then cut them out in the software if you have the cut work tool. So um, if you want to do that, you can with the legs and the arms. So um, you would need those two pieces. Now, what other pages have I got? So I've got page one page two page two has got these little pieces here um, and some of those are on the fold now again you might want to join them together so let's um, just zoom in here to delete things here there's nothing grouped because they're group of one object um, because this is actually a hand-drawn thing and so it's actually not a vector graphic so you can't just delete all the stuff you don't need you can use your eraser and you can make your eraser whatever size you like up here by increasing or decreasing the size and you can delete rub out what you don't want here but a quicker way is to actually just trace around and make your own vector from from this um, PNG so I'll select get my select tool again and I'll go to my drawing tools and I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm going to just trace around so I'm going to put a left click here and a left click there because I want that to be a straight line then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to left click but I'm going to drag a little bit and I'm going to look at the line behind my click and try to see that I line up that line behind where I've clicked and when that's lined up I'll release and then I'll come down a bit further and left click and drag and you can see I'm trying to line up now you may not get it exact but you can edit this later and then left click here because I'm changing direction this is more or less straight so I'm going to left click here left click here and then go back to my first node the little word node is actually appearing when I'm hovering over it and I'm just going to double click there and that closes my line now I've got a well I might want to fix this curve here a bit but um, now I've got a vector object that I can move off and I can go control D and I can make sure I've got that one selected by making sure I've got my select tool highlighted and click on the top one and then I'm just going to get over a bit so I've got room I want to get over there I don't I find it hard to zoom in over to the left anyway I've got enough room there now so while that's selected I'm, I've done control D so now I'm going to hold my control key down and I'm going to get on that side one and flip it over now as you can see that was on the angle so flipping it didn't actually get it lined up exactly so what I can do is rotate this because this piece wasn't sitting with this vertical 
Um, so what I can do is rotate this piece so that the lines matched up. They match up down the bottom here. So I'm going to click on here again to get the rotation handles and I'm going to t left click and drag that rotation point down to the bottom here and I'll I see the word node so I can hover over that and just drop that rotation and I'm going to try and zoom in a bit better for you okay up to here so I know it's going to rotate on that point down there I can get this rotation handle here and just rotate it across till it matches up and release okay so the moral of the story is with um, PNGs or bitmaps or whatever, even if they're on a PDF, they will still behave like a raster file, JPEG, bitmap, whatever. Um, so it may be best just to trace around with your pen tool to create a vector pattern because it's easier to work with. So there's quite a few pointers on using a PDF in the software. Um, so if I summarize, select the pieces you want put them on all on one layer by moving them creating a new layer somewhere and moving them all delete all your other layers so that you only have one layer um, and you know use your delete key to delete vector objects you don't want you can use the eraser or you can um, trace around and create vectors from bitmap type files. If you have other questions um, about what I've shown you today, please don't hesitate to comment below and I'll try and answer them. Thank you.